Do you want to know the biggest thing that's had an impact on my mindset over the last two years? It hasn't been a course. It hasn't been books. It's actually been my content diet. What's that, you might ask? We all understand that food is the diet for your body. It, if, you have, if you're eating shit food, then your body will also be operating like shit. But the same thing goes with the content that we consume. It feeds into our mind. If the only content that you're watching is rubbish, if it's people dancing on TikTok, if it's random viral videos, if it's just videos of fucking dogs, they're cheap sources of dopamine. They're little bits of entertainment, but they're not adding anything to your life. If anything, they're probably just detracting from it. A lot of our beliefs and ideologies and mindsets that we pick up over time are from the people we listen to online, the creators we admire and are exposed to. They all subconsciously feed into our mind. This is one of those things that's kind of just like an undercurrent of your life. If you're constantly consuming motivational and inspirational things, over time it will create this strong undercurrent that's brewing underneath the surface that slightly influences all your decisions and actions and behaviors. A good thing that you can do, which I've done many times in the past, is go audit your social media. Have a look at all the people you follow and just really question, what are these people adding to my life? How do I feel after I've watched them? Do I feel motivated, inspired to go chase my goals? Or do I kind of feel angry and negative and cynical about the world? As a general rule of thumb, try get the amount of people that you're following on whatever it might be, Instagram or TikTok, to an absolute minimum. Cut out as much of the noise as possible. This is just one of those things that a lot of people overlook. They don't really put any conscious thought into the effect that their social media usage is having on them. I'm not gonna say just quit all social media because that's unrealistic. It's probably not gonna happen. We all consume some level of content online. The difference becomes, what is that content? What are you looking at in your spare time, your downtime, your lunch breaks? Just take a moment to really analyze the long-term effects of the content that you're consuming. That's all, bro. I'll see you in the next video.